welcome back to our channel. This is Teacher Julie. Nagsukod na ta? <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to our channel. This is Teacher Julie and today we are going to discuss Module 6 of our Mathematics. So we will talk about polynomial equation. So what is a polynomial equation? Polynomial equation are those polynomials but since we have here what we call equation then we can find symbol already of equal. So, I have here my polynomial equation. For example, x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. So, this is already called as a polynomial equation because of equals. Okay, these are examples of polynomial equations. I want you to take a look on our example number 1. x squared plus x minus 2 equals to 0. This is an equation because we already have a symbol here, equals. The same with our problem number 2, x minus 1 times x minus 3 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. From the symbol here, equals, then that makes this 2 a polynomial equations. So in our polynomial equations, this is just a continuation in your lesson in your grade 9 on what they call this one, a quadratic equation. But in a quadratic equation, it's only a second degree. But here, when we talk about polynomial, it goes up to second degree. So in this case, we will be getting first the degree of our polynomial. So how are we going to determine the degree of polynomial? We have to look for the highest exponent of the variable. So in number one, what is the highest exponent of the variable? Take a look. Our exponent of our x here is 2. The exponent of our x here means we wala man tayo makita na na siya 1. So, unsa may kinatas ang exponent? Correct answer is? Very good. Our answer here for the degree is second degree polynomial. How about the real roots of equation? So, how are we going to determine the real roots of equation? If you are going to notice, our equation is in standard form. Kanang standard form gali, nagka-decrease ang iyang exponent sa iyang variable. Ing ane, karun, kailangan na siya mahimo o um, factored form. Arun, makuha na to ang real roots of equation. So, going back, we have here x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. We have to factor this one, the one you learned in grade 9, the factoring method that you did. So, factor our first term. So, that will become x times x. So, we make two parentheses, the first x and x. Then we also have to factor our last term, which is 2. And factors of 2 are, we can write this as 2 and 1. And since this is negative, so one of this is positive, the other one is negative. Since... Our middle term is positive. So, ang maghawid sa positive, kanang dako nga number. So, si 2 ang maghawid sa dako nga number, ang maghawid sa positive, o ang 1 may maghawid sa negative. Because when you simplify that one, that will become x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. So, this is the factored form of our polynomial equation. After having the factored form, since we will be getting the real roots of equation, kailangan ninyo na apply yan atong gitawag nga zero product property. Unsa ng zero product property? Kato ng duha ka factors, i-equate ni mo o zero. So, kaning duha ka factors, i-equals na to, to zero. So, ang x minus 1, i-equal na to zero. Ang sunod, ang x plus 2 na pod i-equal to 0. So, tanang factors equal to 0. Pagkahuman, we have to solve for x. Solving for x, of course, negative 1 will be transposed to the other side or apply addition property of equality or para dali, tabuka na sa pikas, maso na siyang positive 1. The other is x plus 2. Aron x na lang po yung mabilindiri sa itong left side, patabuko na ito na sa pika side, ganang side nga positive, mahimo na siyang negative. So, these are what we call the roots of our equation. 
So if we are going to ask for the real roots of equation, our answer are 1 and negative 2. Next. Number of real roots. Ang inyong buhaton, Ana, iha pa lang pila ka buok real roots. Iha pa lang, pila man ka bo. 1, 2. So there are two, 2. Therefore, answer for number of real roots is 2. And that's how we get our answer for this degree, real roots of equation, and number of real roots. Nasabdan. Kana siya kung ang atong equation is in standard form. Now, let's go with our example number 2, wherein our equation is not in standard form. Unsa may dagway sa atong number 2 nga problem. Sa number 2 na atong nga problem, it's already in factored form. So, unsa man na itong pagkabalo sa degree kung naka-factored form na siya? Ang buhato na ito, pag naka-factored na siya, ha, e nga niyon ra. Diba, pag magkuha tag degree, ato ramang kwao ng highest exponent of the variable, but since this is not in standard form, ang pagkuha ano yung ani lang. Kanang x minus 3, imo na siyang isimplify to 3, ang highest exponent yun ano, mahimog yun na siyang x cubed. Dere, x ra gyud ni. Karang x cube, i times na siya x, monster na siya x to the fourth power. Okay, I'm shortcut ani ang ani ra ha. Kani kay usa ra man ni ka x dire, then dire na man ni tulo ka x, it means na siya upat ka x. So ang but pas wata na the highest exponent of the variable is 4. So it's a fourth degree polynomial. Kuha. Second, unsa man pagwa sa real roots of equation? Kini moy pinaka sayon. Nga no. The the given equation is already in factored form. Buhon pa sa but. Dili na mo mag-factor, factor doon pa rin sa mga ibuhat. Ganina. Ang buhato ninyo, daretsoo na ninyo gamit ang zero product property. So, tagkwao na nato ang zero product property. So, mag-ingo na tag x minus 1 equals to zero. Ang sa pa? Kung sa'yo pa sa buta na x minus 3 raised to the power of 1. Pa anang x minus 3 raised to the power of 3. But pa sa na ay x minus 3 o sa kabuo napagyod po yung x minus 3 nga ikaduha o napagyod yung x minus 3 nga ikatulo kaya ang exponent niya tulo man so yun nga nauna siya pag zero product property ang zero ni mo para masolve ni mo ang x so for x so this will become tabok then will become positive 1 x minus 3 so for x mutabok na siya it will become positive 3 this is also positive 3 and this is also positive 3 and, in getting the real roots of equation, oh, isulat ni mo tanan. So, you write here, 1, 3, 3, 3. Or, na ako itudlo ninyo ha, pag ang 3 katulo na siya nagpakita, ang pagsulat anak niya, yung ano una siya ha, 1, kama, dayon 3, butangan na siya o multiplicity, multiplicity of Kapila man nagbalik-balik ang 3, katuluman sa so multiplicity of 3. Ako lang nang giklaro diri nga 3, 3, 3. Aroon pagpanguta na sa number of real roots, di ginu masayo. So, pila pa dyan is nakabuo? Yes. There are 4. So, that's why we get our answer which is 4. So, what if you are given the roots only of a polynomial and you are asked to make the polynomial equation? Okay, I have here an example. Uh, given the roots, I will be using this one that's found on your activity number 5. So, this is an example wherein you are going to write the polynomial equation. So, baliho na to. With the roots of plus minus 2, positive negative 2, 3, and 3 fifths. If you are going to notice on our previous example, ang akong dihatag dito, ang given dito kay polynomial equation. Dayon, you give me the roots. But today, ang buhato nato yung ane. Hatagan ta mo o roots, kamo mo o'y muhatag na ko sa polynomial equation. Is that clear? So this is how we are going to do it. Since we already have here the roots of our polynomial equation, so the first step we are going to do is, step one ha, step one. You just write the factor. 
factors. So, kung kini siya plus 2, but pasabot ana ang factor ana niya kay x minus 2. Kini kay negative 2 man na siya, ang factor ana niya kay x plus 2. So, just write the factors. Kini kay 3 man, so ang factor ana niya kay x minus 3. O kini 3 fifths, ang factor ana niya tanawa ha. Kung fraction galin na, kanang denominator dira nga 5, muna siya ay mutapad sa 5x minus 3. Like equals 0. This is already a polynomial equation in factored form. Pero kay in our activity, you have to write this one in standard form. Then, we have to do our step number 2. Ugun sa mga step number 2, kay standard form man atong buhaton. Then, we're going to multiply applying FOIL method. So, this is x minus 2 times x plus 2. So, we just have that one. So, we're going to multiply first term and then outer term, inner term, and then last term. So, x times x, we get x squared. x times 2, we get positive 2x. Negative 2 times x, we'll have negative 2x. And last term, negative 2 times 2, negative 4. So, that's how we get the product when you multiply these two binomial, sum and difference of binomials. Applying FOIL method na po, sila na pong doon itong itime. So, murag ya po ng pattern. First term, we multiply. So, first term sa ta, x times 5x. So, answer is 5x squared. Dayon, outer na po ta. x times negative 3, answer na siya negative 3x. Pag human sa outer, inner na po ta. Negative 3 times 5x, so, answer is negative 15x. And then, kanang last term of last term, multiply negative 3 times negative 3. Mga siya siya positive 9. Close and open parenthesis equals to 0. Okay. Are you following? Then, we have to simplify. If you are going to notice, our middle terms, kanang second of third term na to, parihas na sila. So, this in this case, x squared plus 2x minus 2x minus 4, we can combine like terms. So, this will become x squared minus 4. Kaya kini siya, 0 naman ang 2x minus 2x. So, x squared minus 4 multiplied by. If you are also going to notice, kini ato ang outer of inner term, negative 3x minus 15x, pareha silang x, so they can, we can combine them. So, we just copy our first term, which is 5x squared. Combine negative 3x and negative 15x. Pilo may answer, Anna? Yes, that's negative 18x plus 9 equals 0. Is this already in standard form? Wala pa. Okay, wala pa man na na standard form. We can do also distributive property of multiplication. So, yung ganyan na ito pag distributive, hinay-hinayo na ito ha, para dili kayo tama stress. So, x squared, i-multiply sa 5x squared. So, pala answer, 5x raised to the power of 4. Uha, kana na pong x squared, i-times na po na ito. So, ma-answer na siya, o, oh, x squared times negative 18x, negative 18x cubed. Are you following? Next. Kanina pong x squared, kailangan matimes na po na siya dito sa 9. So, ma-answer na siya og plus 9x squared. Ang x squared, nakatimes na nilang tanan. So, kumuna na ta. Next, kanina pong negative 4 will be multiplied to the 3 of them. So, hinahinayon kaya po na to. Negative 4 times 5x squared. Answer is negative 20x squared. Take, take note. Ang answer is negative 20x squared. Ako na siyang itunong dirida pita. Kay Aron, pariha sila nga x squared o x squared para sa'yo na ito pag-answer. Sunod. Negative 4 na po, i-times na po na ito ikaduha. Negative 4 times negative 18x. Ma-answer na siya. O, kung sa man? Positive 72x. Sunod. Si negative 4 na po, i-times na po na na itong katapusan diha. Negative 4 times 9. Mga answer na siya, o, oh, negative 36. Unya na na ito, ibutang equal 0 ha. Okay. And then, what we're going to do is, we do it like this. So, we can combine like terms directly. So, mahimo ni siyang 5x squared. Wala man siya ka kung, ay, sorry. 5x raised to the power of 4 
minus 18x cubed. 9x squared and negative 20x squared can be combined kay pareha man sila o oh, literal coefficient. So, di man sa parehag sign, e minus. So, ang answer is negative 11. Just copy the numerical literal coefficient, which is x squared. Plus 72x minus 36 equals 0. And that's it. If you are going to notice, the exponents of our variable are in decreasing order. Oh, nagkagamay, 4, 3, 2, 1, constant. Therefore, this is already the standard form of our polynomial equation. Nakuha. Inanaong ranato na siya pag-solve or pagkuha siyang polynomial equation kung naghatag na siya daan o roots sa ato ang polynomial. So, on sa'yo buhaton, i-factor form na na ito. Factored form. Pagkahuman, kay standard form na itong answer, apply yun na na ito ang itawag na FOIL method, distributive property, so we can get our final answer, which is already in standard form of polynomial equation. Dayon, kung naipangota na, ma'am, pananglitan ma'am, nasa mong activity ma'am, na ay nakabutang dito ma'am, find the Write the polynomial equation, ma'am. Kung yan ay nakabutang 0 plus minus 1. Ma'am, kung saan mo naman ang 0? Sa yun, rakay na mga kids, ha? Very easy. Pag 0 gali ang nakabutang di, ha? Ang, ang factored form, ano niya? Extra. Ayun na paglabad-labad sa ulo. So, mo yun ay factored form. Of ka na, plus minus 1 man. So, kung plus 1, x minus 1. Kung minus 1, we have x plus 1. And that's how we factor the factored form of our polynomial equation. Apply yun na lang dahil ninyo itong mga distributive nga kung gilingunog ang form method, then you can get the standard form of our polynomial equation. Para good sure nga maka-checking yun mo, asakto dito yung answer nga di good masayop, inganiyon na ninyo pag-ihap mga kids ha. Pila man itanan ka roots, akong ihapon. 1, Positive 2, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Diba 4 kabok roots? Kung 4 na ka roots, inyong bantayan, kanang highest exponent dere nga degree sa itong polynomial is also 4. O, 5x raised to the power of 4. So, that's what you're going to look at. Parihas ani, pila man kabuok, roots ang nadere na ay tulo. So, kung tulo ni siya kabuk, inig-checking ninyo, pangitawan niyo sa answer, ang kinatasan dyan na ng degree will be x cubed. Kay, kanang number of roots, nakadetermina siya what's the degree of your polynomial. Are you? Nasabdan ko? Okay, that's it guys. I hope you understand. Bisan um sa kagamya lang, namoy nasabdan ka ron. And then, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Bye-bye. Thank you.